Yo guys, before the video starts, I want to show you that my newest and my best pack ever just released. It's called Prestige Graphics Pack and it has a lot of, a lot of stuff. Like as you can see, 42 PSDs plus cover PSD, a lot of tutorials, a lot of breakdowns, um, also bonus pack so you get a second pack with this pack. So yeah, it's really valuable and if you want to buy it, just go to the description. You can just see what it's inside. Mm, and yeah, I highly recommend it and yeah, now we can go to the tutorial. Alright guys, so now we are in the tutorial and in this today's tutorial, I, as you can see, uh, like in the title, I am show I'm going to show you how to make a cartoon header and I'm going also to show you how to make 3D text for a cartoon header. Uh, and by the way, for this header, I'm going to use 3D text Lightroom from my pack, as you can see. Here I got 3D text Lightroom. I'm going to use this Lightroom. So if you want to do the same step, ever, like same step as me, and if you want to just make good 3D text, make sure to buy my pack, and there you you will just get 3D text Lightroom. So yeah. All right. So the first thing we are going to do is we are going to create a project with resolution 1920 by 10 by 1080. Um, all right. And the first thing we are going to do, I mean, second thing we are going to do. As we are going to start with, with the text and what we are going to do is we are going to make every letter separately so i am going to make a nickname kyle so we are just going to make every letter separately as i said before And after we are done, uh, we are just going to group the, all the letters and click convert to smart object. And by the way, how you want to group it, if you don't know, you just hold shift at the first or the last layer and you convert to smart object. And then you go here, so quick selection tool and you just select the text. Then you go to edit. No, you go to, you, go, you right click, make work path and click OK. And then you go to file, export and paths to illustrator and just name it as you want. And what we are going to do now is we are going to, as I said before, we are going to go to um, 3D Text Lightroom, which you can get in my pack. So yeah, Prestige 3D, Prestige 3D Text Lightroom. All right, so now we are in the 3D text Lightroom. So we are going to here, it's going to say file and merge objects. And we click Kyle and OK. And we have to bring it up a bit because it's it's far down and it has to apply to the Lightroom. All right. And what we do now is we are going to just basically go here, hold, click extrude and then you have to merge the objects with like with where the layer where the arrow is going down and then go click here and then there you have um, 3d text and now we can actually mess around with the camera a bit or the text actually all right and after you got the 3d text we are going to do the same thing with 2d text and i'm going to skip this part because it's going to render a lot so yeah i see you in the photoshop again all right, so now we are in the Photoshop again, and um, project of the header is 6000 by 2000. You can also do 3000 by 1000, it doesn't really matter. So now we go to the file where you can see um, when you just save your text. So here, and we're just going to put it in the middle. As you can see, we can actually rotate it a bit like that. All right, as you can see, and now what we are going to do is we are going to just add renders. So this header is going to be SpongeBob. So we are just going to add this renders. So one can go here. 
actually make it closer a bit, make the text a little bit smaller. Now we're going to get another render, put it on the other side, flip horizontal, just like that. And now we're going to add the third one and we are going to add it in the middle here. All right, it's cool. And now we can actually mess around with the text a bit. So, all right. So we are going to make it mainly like yellow colors. Actually, we can mess around with the this render a bit too because it's actually not really saturated. So we can click Ctrl, Shift and A to open camera row. <laughs> and now we are going to go to basic. Maybe we can make a contrast a little bit more higher. All right. We can add clarity and texture too and go to detail, noise reduction and color noise reduction. Right now it's way better. All right, and now we are going to mess around with the, with the text. So, all right, so what we are going to do is we are going to copy the 2D part and make it yellow. All right. And actually we can make it less saturated, I think. So maybe, yes, like that, it's cool. And also the same thing with 3D part. So like that, and we can make the lightness a little bit less. All right, all right, it's cool. And now what we are going to do is we are going to add these like nice circles, as you can see on the SpongeBob render on the text. So we are going to do the same thing. And by the way, I'm going to speed this part up because it's going to be like 20 circles, and it's going to be just the same steps. So yeah, I'm just going to speed it up. All right, so now we are done with this like effect and what we are going to do is we are going to group it and convert to smart object. All right, and now what we are going to do is we are going to add the drop shadow, as you can see. All right. It's cool. And also we can actually add bevel and emboss, but we can make it yeah, like yellow. And we can add inner shadow. We can make it more blurry. And actually we can make it more or less saturated, so like that. Alright, it's cool. And now what we can do um, is we can make a nice stroke. So we are going to create a new layer. We are going to get this uh, this like color that is on the text. And by the way, if you want to select your color in this way, you're just going to get a brush, hold Alt and click on the color. And then we are going to go to Kyle brushes and just select it. All right, I think that's, that's done. Uh, and now we're going to add a drop shadow and maybe opacity kind of less, all right? It's cool. And now we are going to add some effects to the 3D part. So we are going to convert to the smart object <coughs> and click inner glow, all right? And it's cool. We can left it like that and actually we can add a drop shadow too. All right, and now what we're going to do is we're going to add some backgrounds. So, all right, so yeah, just simply add some backgrounds. I downloaded, I, all I searched for is like SpongeBob backgrounds and yeah, that's how we can find these backgrounds. All right, we can get this one. We can actually add it on this side, we can actually make shapes to it too. So we go la with lasso tool and we are just creating these layers, these background layers. And now we are going to create one here. 
this one we can make it like blue and another one will be here we can make it like orange and another one here of course all right and what we're going to do now is we're going to just basically add this backgrounds on this um, layers so we can add it here all right so luminosity and we can just convert to this one object the same thing with other backgrounds so we can add this one here we actually i don't think we have to color it or maybe all right we can actually color it too with this color all right it's nice now we go with this one and we are going to add maybe this one this one is nice so click, create clipping mask again and just go with some blending option this one is cool and the last one all right we can add this one actually or maybe we can add the same one that we used here actually i think it will look cool so let me get this one i think it's yes yeah, this one so just copy go here create clipping mask again and just put it here and we can actually mess around with the color a bit so let's see which one will look the best I think blue is will be cool here all right it's nice mm -hmm. all right so what we are going to do now is we're going to add some lights in the background so basically here you can see there is like more yellow color so we're going to just get a brush and yellow color and just simply make these lights All right, and after we've done that, we are going to um, mess around with these renders a bit. Um, so let's go here and hue and saturation, create clipping mask, colorize, and just choose the color of the background. And we can add this nice like reflection to them. And the same with every single one. So now we are here, we are going to add blue one. here here all right it's cool and also here so let's go here human saturation create clipping mask and go with the blue again and do the exact same thing here all right, and it's cool. And we can just lower the opacity maybe a bit. All right, it's nice. And after we've done that, we can just add some effects um, to the background. So you, you can go to my pack, Prestige Pack. The link is in the description, as I said in the beginning of the video. And there uh, we are going to go to Glows and Effects. And we are going to choose some nice effect. This one is cool. All right, and we are going to add it in some places. So here, and actually, if you want to change the color of something really quick, you have to click Ctrl and U. And there, just choose a color. So here, we can add this one here. We can add it here too. And now we are going to make it the same, make the same things, but with blue. So here, here, we can add it here too. We can add it in the first place too. All right, so here and filter blur and Gaussian blur. So it makes a nice reflection. All right, it's nice. And now what we can do also is get this fireball. We can delete this one and get it in the background. So we can put it in some places like here, for example. Can copy it and just put it in some places 
Alright, that's nice. Alright, and I think that would be it. Now what we are going to do is add some like lights, some effects. So we can just choose a color and just make this nice lights, as you can see. By the way, this render, this, this tutorial won't be like one hour long. If you want to see me like making one hour long videos, how I expect every, like, how I like do every single step on my client headers and etc. Because we're the tutorials, I'm not going to make it two hours because nobody will watch it. So yeah, I just want to keep it short. So let me know if you want to see a long one. All right, so we can just add these lights wherever. As you can see, now we'll go with Lanyard Dutch. We can lower the opacity a bit. All right, and I think that's that's nice. Now what we are going to do is we are going to group all the layers and go here, group it, and click Control Shift Alt and E, and click Control Alt Shift and A. And we are going to mess around with the effects a bit. So you can just you can just copy my settings if you want. I'm just going to mess around with them a bit. All right, we can make it like lighter a bit. All right, effects actually calibration. Here, here, something like that. All right, I think it's cool. Now what we are going to do is we are going to copy the layer of the header, filter, blur, gaussian blur, and go with 50. And go with lighter color and make it like, I think like 35. Yeah, I think it's, this one is nice. And we are going to click control, we are going to click shift, or so group it, and click control shift alt and E again. And then we are going to go to filter, noise and add noise, and we are going to make it 5. And yeah, that's that's it. Header is done. It was just a quick tutorial. Of course, when I'm doing client work, etc., it takes me a long time, and I focus more on details and etc. But here, it's just a tutorial, so I won't make it like one hour long. So yeah, that was just a quick tutorial, and I hope you liked it. I hope, hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to check my store. I just released a new pack, as I said in the beginning of the video. If you like the video, also make sure to like the video and subscribe. And yeah, I appreciate you and I see you in the next video.